That's literally an objective. Buy milk. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Keep opening this thing, I'm finding the, the same horse. Oh, here we go. Found one. Nice. So I definitely missed one. I definitely missed one. I think it was when I was playing as Sam. Oh, well. Fine. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Emergency sock quarter. Milk. Fear trap. I love fear trap. Keep shooting. This is the best game ever, right here. Gotta take care of these guys. There we go, we're good. Just keep spamming X. Just keep spamming shoot. Keep spamming. Just keep spamming. Keep spamming. Just keep spamming. We'll get it eventually, right here. There we go. More are coming. More are coming. Just... Oh no, I got hit. Keep spamming it. This is the best game ever. What kind of pharmacy has arcade games? I think, the, I think it said the high score was 5,000. Well, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> You can just play this for the rest of the let's play. Enthralling gameplay right here. Got the little ship up there too. Once we reach 5,000 we'll stop. Because I believe that's what it said the high score was. The middle platform is all but gone now, so I gotta be careful. Hey, got that little ship. Oh no! 
Another one life. This is not good. I gotta beat this level in order to get 5,000. Bullets are moving now? Oh no. Oh no. No! Damn it! Alright, that's enough. Hello? I would like some milk! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so... I just need some milk. Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get some milk, but couldn't find any. I got you. Really? You couldn't look back there One yourself? Milk. One milk. <laughs> Thanks. No sweat. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if... You're into that kind of thing? Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Mm. He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today. But we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Uh... Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. <laughs> you need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Hello. Chris, I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. You spend enough time in my line of work? You realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. The Let's word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. 
Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair. Even Wait, you were the... What? They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Oh, so she was the... Wow. So it's a new timeline? That's crazy. That's insane. These walls have eyes. You better have not touched me in my sleep. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand. Oh. Thousand. Feet is the average length of film in a movie. <sighs> this dude. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before. Huh. It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh. Oh right. yeah, that. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, because she sold us the camera. Is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponents. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Obviously, we're going to look around. Well, now, this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Why'd I have to be you with this guy? Cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Tell me about her. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber. Elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. 
observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Uh huh. Is, the most annoying person like ever. She likes dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hello. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. We didn't even start looking around. Let's look around. Hello, pretty man. Oh. I love your outfit, oh. by the way. Huh. Well, thanks. Now that was a curious sound. Well, the shoes Can't are deny tight. this place would make know. an incredible I got film from location. A guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy, so I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had him tailored just right oh. by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a. Super Dirty cameras. Club edition. <laughs> well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Do we dare go upstairs? Good. Ah, uh, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie... What was your mom's name? Chris. Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest Jaime. friends. Uncle Jaime. I am. Um, oh, it was Bonnie? Rhea Ripley? I heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's. It's quite sad. Very touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. Check this. Let me check these relationships. Certain choices you make have direct impact on your relationship between characters, the current status of each one. By selecting a character name, you can see the choices that impact that relationship. Okay. Yeah, it's been all positive between these two. Yeah, it's been pretty much all positive. Nice. Oh, apparently we missed something in between. Oh well. Yeah, we're not gonna get every single thing here, but who cares? I don't care that much. So it looks like it's a ter certain timeline. So this was from the 1980s. 
This was from the 1963. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so I got this timeline whole mixed up. So when I was talking about when Sam arrived at the, um, the, uh, the movie, that was in the future. This is what happened in the past. I'm stupid. So, yeah. This happened... Yeah, this happened in 1980, and the one in the very beginning, 1963. So, yeah, he's the sheriff now. I got this whole timeline mixed up. I'm stupid. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Shut up. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And... Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? Fuck you. This kind of information is very valuable. Shut up, Stan. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. <sighs> you're fucking... You're a fucking asshole. So that's crazy. Bonnie, a.k.a. Rhea Ripley, is her mom. And Stan is just a straight-up dick. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Yeah, it's the hillbilly. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Base of evil. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. You talk to Maddie. Where is she? Oh, she's over there. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? It looks like it opens with a key. Be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Stan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Okay. You sure would get a kick out of this place? And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Herself. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. 
Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... Flashback? There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. Then right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment and nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. What? Don't ruin the moment. Look. What? What? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh, I, I saw it. There's someone out there. Who is that? I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. You would think that. What? What? Right. Um, so, do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? That door. Artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, the door. maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? Shut up. I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Who is that? Bald guy. That's Sam. What's taking them so long? I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. I've just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Hello. All right on time. Right at time. Time to get cooking. Whose bands is this? What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. Okay. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on so a she was at the library. gold mine here. She was at the library. Was that was awesome. Day. I can't take all the credit. I had a little help from my uh, <sighs> assistant. It was nothing. Hey, modesty free zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. Just doing my job. <laughs> Uh-oh, Jaime's getting jealous. Oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. 
I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. Wow. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. Stone's victims were... Real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? Yes. It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not gonna exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. If I'm gonna sneak you back in there, you better make it good. He gets it. Um, missing the point. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? Jaime, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Oh. Chris. Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Sure. Obviously. <laughs> Robert and I are going to look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing any way I have to. Bitch. Why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's gotta be yeah. something we haven't found yet. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Oh, it's Tom. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, Mac. Before or since. I don't reckon I ever will again. Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. He all but gave up on finding Stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well... There'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. An interactive movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Oh, I'm glad we saved that baby. An omniverse? Far out. Anything else before we talk to Linda? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um. <clears throat> Maybe just.
just read it both? Sure no one was sad to see it go. Journalists sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Chris, Chris is kind of obsessed with the Frank Stone stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't believe Mom's finally getting out. I can't wait. Hey! Alright, let's talk. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. But it and still Chris happened. Because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That you wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect. Mm -mm. But nope. I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. That's a whole lot of nope. 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 We've been down there. Nope. 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 <sighs> but they don't know it. So. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. It's very supportive of you. Thanks, Robert. I mean, Jaime. Sorry. Forgot which one of you is the supportive one. That was mean. You're mean. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh! Yes! Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank! It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop! Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hey. Hi, Bonnie. Who's shooting what now? Oh, boy. Bonnie. Uh, don't you say one more sneaky little word. Word. Uh, just tell me what you're shooting. We're not. I'm pretty sure I just heard your girlfriend say you were. Not my girlfriend no, anymore. No, we're going to see a movie. Mm-hmm. We are. Relax, Maria Ripley. This true? Yeah. Okay, cool. What movie? Can I come? Sure. It's, it's, a, it's, um... Curse of the Midnight Sun. Uh, so it's about a sun at... Midnight? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you'd like it. Sounds kind of dumb, but I guess if you guys are going. Yeah, you're coming with. It's sort of a double date. Chris and I and... Robert and I are lovers. Well, I guess we better be off then or else we'll miss our movie. Come on, guys. Let's nope. make sure we leave enough time to get popcorn. Yep. Nope. I like come. mine with butter. You guys are so oh. awkward. Bonnie, come with. Enjoy the movie. Thanks. <laughs> See you, Bonnie. Bye. What? The, okay. <laughs> she. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding dongs working on? Uh oh. Hello. Interesting. Bonnie's gonna come in, save the day with her brutality. Ladies and gentlemen, I present. So, Bonnie. Yep. 
Okay, so, from what I can tell, Bonnie will live through this. Like, 1980. Because Madison said that she would die, like, a f prior to 2024. It would be, like, a few months before, like, the current day, you know? Like, Madison... She said that she died, like, a few months ago, right? So, Bonnie will live through this. So what would happen if we got Bonnie killed? I'm very oh, curious. You see the creek down there? If we follow that, it takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. Uh... <sighs> We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Do we? Ready? No. Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. <sighs> All right. This way. Hey, right, Chris. You and your insecure boyfriend. Well, this way. If there's anything secret over here. Breathe in. The skin looks a little oily. You need to take a shower or something. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Franks don't actually kill people. Freaking wild. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then okay. it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. Ooh. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. Yeah. So, which way? Um, climb or cross? Uh, it's going to take longer. But we need the fast route. But we will have to cross. Okay, we're climbing. Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay, we just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. Dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. It had a cool title, though. <laughs> what was the title? The man who drew blood from a stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. Well, I got six. I got six out of... Twelve, but I missed like three and four and five. Or no, I missed four and five. It's yeah. So oh, that's fun. Right, excuse me. All right, let's be sneaky. Where exactly is the patrol car? Right there. It's my dad. Everybody hide. 
Anyone there? Ugh, getting too old for this. You can always just stop. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. Take that. Careful. They sense a quick time event. Okay. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Death. Someone's mutilated corpse. Oh, I can't go up there. To look around first before I climb up there. Excuse me. I assume there's nothing, but never know. No, nothing. Okay. What's the point of me roaming around if there's nothing around here? Come on, game. You're better than this. At least I would hope you would be missing. Be better than this. And come on. Why have the thing that we can move around but have nothing in there? Are you absolutely sure? This is safe, and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft whirling fan blades. Good I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yeah. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit. Bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> what a freaking nerd! The Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. I have a sense that we're being followed. 